I did just get a DM from like a comedy fan who said he saw me on a wrestling show back in the day. Nice. Hell dude. yeah. Yeah, he told me um, that and, uh, during my entrance, uh, he yelled out, I have better abs than you, and said that I yelled back at him, you're under six feet tall and you've never made a woman come. And that's <laughs> and when you, yeah, that sounds like that's me. that's when you knew you'd be a roast comic. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, when I when I started doing roast, I said I had a couple of jokes that I'd said when I was wrestling that I just like moved over to comedy. Seamless transition, brother. Um, but yeah, the... Um, yeah, this I sent uh, when the guy sent me the message. It is cool. I sent it to my family group chat, and my I was wondering what my mom and dad were gonna say, and they immediately would. Ju- my mom was just like, "Oh my God, someone recognized you! I'm so proud of you!" Just not not even addressing the fact that I yelled at a man. You've never made a woman come in public. <laughs> my parents just like, "We're proud of you. That's nice." <laughs> they had a little pat on the head. Yeah. Good boy. They understood it was kayfabe. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a big wrestling guy? I was, what was the era, like, for, with, like, Sergeant Slaughter and, like, the real characters? Oh, that the was, Ed like, the late 80s. That was that 80s. That was kind of, like, when I was really into it. Like, when yeah. I was, like, a little kid. Like, yeah. I had the action figures and shit. Okay. I had, um, what's his name? Money Man. Uh, the million, million Dollar Man. Man. Yeah, I had the, what was that, wrestling? Ted DiBiase, the Wrestle Buddies. Yeah, no, I had Ted, a Wrestle Buddy yeah. of the Ted Money Man. DiBiase, he would have been a great roaster. He used yeah. to do a thing where he would, um... Say everybody's got a price, so you would like take people from the audience and say, I'll give them a hundred dollars, they can do a task. So you have like a kid with a basketball say, If you can dribble this ball ten times, I'll give you a hundred dollars. And on the ninth one, he'd kick it out from under him <laughs> and been like, You don't do it, you don't get it. That's uh-huh. the li- uh, that's life. You got to learn this lesson sooner or later. <laughs> How fucking cool is it that his son, Ted DiBiase Jr., got arrested for real life embezzlement and shit, yeah, too? Yeah, yeah, that's that, awesome. He was like a part of, I think, the Brett Favre thing in Mississippi. Yeah, he, like he was like father, like son. Yeah, that was yeah. a real ass million dollar <laughs> fucking a real man million thing. Dollar man <laughs> yeah, move. yeah, yeah. Damn, I bet if he was still in the WWE, they'd have him like a bitcoin fucking guy yeah like he would do a ca- make it part of his character god damn that would have been so cool he was really good he um i remember i was watching a lot when him and cody, cody rhodes, rhodes debuted they were like both sons of legendary wrestlers there, were, there was like three of them it was like randy cody, orton yeah that's right yeah. yeah he was like the leader of them yeah like the next the generation or something what legacy legacy that's yeah. it and then uh, Ted DiBiase of him and Cody Rhodes seemed like the one with the brighter future at the time. And uh, then he just quit wrestling and became like a Christian missionary guy. Whoa. How lame yeah. was that, dude? That and then, and then embezzled a bunch of money and stole from poor people or whatever. Well, that's what all those fucking Allegedly. guys do. Mm. That's like any time like, like Mace or any like rapper or football player becomes like a pastor. Yeah. Everyone's like, it's a fucking tax write-off. And yeah. it is. They can it run is. it all through it, yeah. How dare they, dude? Yeah. I, I miss that era of, like, I don't even want, I, I never got that into UFC, but, like, UFC now to me, it's like, it's cool. I couldn't do it, but I used to like the old UFC when it was, like, a dude in a gi. Yeah. And then, like, it was, like, street fighter shit. It's like a Taekwondo guy versus sumo wrestler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that was the, sh- that, and there like, were no I wish rules. they brought that back. Dude, there's some, there's an old video of um uh, that Taekwondo guy, Keith Hackney. Wait, he is was, that the black guy? The no, bald black guy? There was a bald black guy. The sumo guy? or. Old? And he would get their head oh, fucking his elbow and his knee, yes! And he would just go, I forgot his name. Going, yes, that was <laughs> like that's Fucked one of the craziest up, knockouts. You ever see that shit, dude? That was like his. Do you know who I'm talking yes, about? Yes, I know the. Uh, I remember that specific move. I forgot the guy's name. It was like Paul Maurice, Maurice Smith, maybe something, something like that. that. But there was a guy, Keith Hackney, did Taekwondo stuff. I remember knocking out a sumo wrestler. He wrestled. Um, or not wrestle. He fought Joe Son and cr- like held his legs open and repeatedly punched him in the nuts oh. and won by submission. And that guy who he did it to is like serving a j- lifetime jail sentence for like violent rape now. Oh. Damn, he's dude. actually he's the guy in Austin Powers who throws the shoe. The who that, throws wait, the shoe? Really? That's him. Yeah. He oh, got his ass kicked shit. in a UFC fight by getting kicked in the balls and then raped someone. I think it was like part of a gang rape or something like that. Whoa. Yeah. You know that what? I no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's like part of his like Street Fighter profile. Yeah. His his official defense was me so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Then he threw his shoe at the judge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. I, I, I think I'm realizing that both with... I, I'm into the outfits and the characters. Ooh. In pro like, wrestling, yeah. Yeah, because like, I felt like after... like It kind of started phasing out with like... Right around when like, Stone Cold and The Rock. And then like after that, it turned That's into what UFC a- is now. Where it's like they're all just like... The way they kinda look. Kind of well-rounded. Yeah. And like they're yeah. not like... 
the, these characters anymore. They're just like it became a little bit more reality based, where it was like you know instead of Stone Cold and The Rock, it was. John Cena. It's just his real name. Yeah. And some of them are good. Kurt Angle, but he's an Olympic, like, medalist. So and even that was, yeah. like, an exaggerate. A broken freaking neck. Yeah, they still yeah. exaggerate stuff. And it, now, like, yeah, Ronda they, Rousey's just like, I'm Ronda Rousey. Yeah. And it's like, who cares? Because after she lost her fucking UFC Women's Title Weight Championship, she talked about wanting to kill herself. And it's like, that's not a tough woman. Somebody that wants to <laughs> fucking kill them. Big fucking tough Real woman. women don't kill themselves. She was like yeah. saying like, oh, I'd fuck up Cain Velasquez in a fight. It's like, you wanted to kill yourself. Doesn't sound tough to me. Now watch. People are going to be like, that fucking fat piece of shit. He wouldn't last five seconds in a ring. It's like, I would if I had a gun. And she wasn't allowed to have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd do let's pretty well. A, yeah, let's make it a fucking fair fight. All right. She's fucking trained in like in top cardio <laughs> shape. I going to say she's trans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like I'm, I go in as is, but I got a gun. Yes. All right, what are the? That's a fair. That's a fair fight. Like an, it would be unfair because she has like the fucking strength, and as we've established, women are just as competent at men, athletically. So that's right. not it, it, who would survive. Mm. If it's a fair fight, I get a handicap, a gun. Yeah. You guys. Bing, 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 bing. How cool would that be? Yeah. You I guys fucking shot like a fucking outline of her body, <laughs> and I'm like, you get one. You know, it's like that's fucking tough, dude. Oh, yeah, I uh, yeah because when I, when I started wrestling it was like 2008 or so so it was um, nice I, made, uh, for, I didn't want like a over the top corny name uh, because at that point it was like John Cena guys were using like their real names but I fucking knew I had to come up with a fake name to protect my anonymity because I was gonna be famous you were gonna one be day. Huge, dude. Matt Marinara um, <laughs> yeah I was Matt Marinara. <laughs> Uh, my middle name is Nicholas, and I saw Shawn Michaels just made his first name and middle name switch, so I was Nick Matthews. <laughs> 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 Which now, yeah, anytime like I tell, yeah, like that's like that was appropriate for the time. But to me, I'm like in my mind, I'm like, I'm like, everyone's Nick like, what's your wrestling? Yeah, Nick what's like, what's your crazy. wrestling name? And I say yeah. Nick Matthews. No one's ever not disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although I mean, like the, the top guys now is just Seth Rollins. But also, that's like, not his all real name. Seth freaking Rollins. That's all, true. All the backstories back then used to be like he, you know, he was a. Uh, you know, a, a real evil uh, Latin guy who'd throw a toothpick at you, or he's a sergeant, or he's a cop, or he's a dude with a two by four. Yeah. But like now, it's just like I grew up in the suburbs and trained. Yeah. And now I'm here wrestling. Well, they well, did some. It's they Nick. Did, they I'm did, Nick. Yeah. Well, like <laughs> now, like yeah, the whole thing is like I remember growing up and I would watch Hulk Hogan take on like everyone now it's like grew everyone, up as yeah. a fan. Yeah. yeah. Everyone, everyone like grew, was inspired by a wrestler rather than like. I saw my father get murdered. That's and why. Ever since yeah. then, I vowed to be the world heavyweight champion. Yeah, like why can't we yeah. get that with the new updated wrestling yeah. skills? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's why I like. Uh, even though Brock Lesnar's like forty-five now, whenever he does anything, I'm like, that's still just a dude on a farm who just wanted to beat the shit out of people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. He, he's like, I was never a fan. I just fucking kicked everyone's ass so much. WWE said, "Come and do it here." <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, dude. And it's a good ass gimmick, dude. Yeah, everyone loves them. And don't some of like the newer, like over the last, like whatever. I guess it's probably twenty years at this point. But like, hasn't don't haven't like a lot of like the storylines like bled into reality. Like, yeah, like but where like also, Triple H is like in charge. I've right. heard yeah. some shit where like they'll use they'll take. Um, but I mean, they you always kind of did that when I was wrestling. The thing I was told was um uh. Always tell the truth um, until you need to tell the lie. Because once you tell people seven things that are true, they'll believe the lie. So you do, like, blend the lines where you're saying all these things like Triple H really is in charge. This person really is this. This person really is that. Right. And then they do something that's a little bit fugazi. But you're already in because you. Well, all these other things are true. Maybe this one's true also. Yeah, but, like, but, like. But st I know I keep comparing it to the old, but, like, remember when, like, Sergeant Slaughter fucking, like, defected? Yeah. Like, he, oh, yeah. he, like, became, like, a fucking... Saudi. He started working with, uh... What's he was, like, name? the G.I. Joe character, and then he teamed up with the Iron Sheik and yeah, sympathized, yeah. sympathized with <laughs> Iran during yeah, the first Persian the Gulf trainer. War. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, awesome. they would... St they tried doing, like, those over-the-top ethnic character things way later than they should have. Like, if you I remember when I was watching uh, a lot in, like... It was, like, mid-2000s. Like, 2005, 2006, they just had two black guys and they were a tag team named Crime Time Hell and yeah. their character was that they commit <laughs> crimes. <laughs> well, it was spelled that, with a yeah. Y though. I love crime a fucking tag time. team, Don't, dude. The Bushwhacker yeah. Brothers, yeah. dude. That, they, were two that was... they were two Mexicans. They called the Mexicools. They Mex would come out to the ring on <laughs> one deer tractors. This is 2006. <laughs> on like... Uh, 
fucking Channel 9, like broadcast television. Yeah, but 2006, yeah. that's like Jimmy Kimmel was still doing Carl Malone. Blackface. I think that was a few years earlier. Even. Was it? I think that, that was, was like 2000. That was, before, that was Man Show. Yeah. Yes, that, that was, like was 2001, on Man- 2002. Oh, so that was that, that was, was when he was doing uh, Kimmel tonight, but he was showing up drunk all the time. Because mm. like like Fallon, he went through a little yeah. bit of a boozy period. Yeah, but he worked through it. Yeah, 2006, you were still able to do some stuff, but I mean, just a w- like some of those wild, over the top. Um, like uh, racial characters in wrestling, those feel more 80s, 90s. By 2005, yeah. I mean, 2004, JBL got a championship match against Eddie Guerrero by going to the border and showing a video of him kicking Mexicans back over the border. <laughs> <laughs> and Kurt Angle was the general manager, and he was so impressed by how American he was, he gave him a championship match. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> and that was, like, real, too. That wasn't, like, a fucking thing. Yeah. They just showed up there and just started doing it. That wasn't one of those fake wrestling storylines. Right. Well, you know, like they say like WWE is like you know we're progress- like at never at any point did they ever consider removing uh Donald Trump from the WWE Hall of Fame. Yeah. They even Hell took Hulk no. Hogan out for a minute. You can't do that. Oh, yeah, they, they took Hogan out didn't for do a minute. steroids. Wait, why? Oh, cuz of the he, sex He had tape sex thing? with another man's wife with the woman's explicit consent. That's mm. dishonor in the WWE code. Yeah. It was terrible Leva that fucked that his yeah. friend's wife brother. Yeah. Him Hulk say- Hogan was incapacitated at the time, brother. He was, but he was b- besought with, with the idea of his daughter having sex with a black guy, brother. Well, that now when he <laughs> said the when he said the M word, they almost let him back into the WWE Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the adultery, just you know, the sanctity of marriage, that well, was too much. There is that like there is that like Christianity kind of vibe to like the new shit. I feel like, where, and it's probably because they're like trying to like. It's a little bit. Cri- to the it feels yeah, a little bit like yeah. Christian rock. Yeah. Where like you'll listen to like Skillet and you won't even know they're Christian rock. And then once you think about it, you're like, oh yeah, they kind of are. That's a little bit of what WWE well, even is. Even at yeah. the end, yeah. yeah. At the end, like wrestling at its core is like the good guy versus the bad guy. Yeah. And even if like the bad guy wins and it's like, oh, this is evil, like the good guy, he still doesn't give up. Yeah. You know? Or right. never even give up. Like, it's like, Hustle, loyalty, yeah. and respect. Right. Right. And like that's why they and then like yeah. Sir, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But then, like, there's certain people like, you know, Rey Mysterio and John Cena who can't become bad guys because of that. Well, John Cena was a bad guy early on. For a minute, but then, like, once he got got popular, he was a good guy. Rey Mysterio is, like, the only guy, I think, modern in my lifetime that was, like, only ever a good guy. I think back in the day, Ricky Steamboat was only... That's why his son is so evil. He was only ever a good guy also. That's why his son Dominic is so evil now. He is, yeah. Wait, there was people... Are you saying that there was guys that were always, like, bad at some point? Yeah, they usually go back. We'll jump around. Makes yeah. your character fresh. It helps, like, figure out, like, d- what works. What's well, I feel like there's works. some guys that are, like, like the ultimate warrior. Like, he's just, like, a dude yeah. who's just, like... A psycho. Yeah, like, he's... Like, I don't even you know what his backstory was. You ever doing, like, speaking was. tours? No. Once he uh, left WWE, he just, like, went on speaking tours, and he was, like, this, like, super right-wing Christian guy. So there's, like, videos of him, like, going to colleges and talking about how queer and don't make the world go round. <laughs> and just all these anti-gay speeches and everything. And then, um, and he, like, in WWE had a big falling out, and they made amends. And they inducted him into the Hall of Fame, and he goes out on Monday Night Raw and gives like a thank you speech and dies of a heart attack two days later. How fucking what? powerful is that? Dude? That is really powerful. He yeah. also changed his yeah. last name to Warrior. His legal Did name really? is Warrior. A lot of guys, Stone Cold Steve Austin's real name now is Steve Austin, just so they can like use it without paying WWE. Dude, because WWE oh, owns the name. Yeah, because they, they 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 do all that fuck around shit with those guys. How yeah. how cool is it when Stone Cold said his favorite Legend of Zelda game? is uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Did he say that? When was that? He was like interviewing Cody Rhodes, and Cody uh. Rhodes said his favorite Legend of Zelda yeah. is Ocarina of Time. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that fucking chill, dude? That is my favorite one. That's fucking chill, dude. I no, no, the- my favorite's Link to the Past. The, Super, to the Nint- past, really? Super Nintendo one. I've been playing Skyward Sword. I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm all my, about it. Yeah. You can move your um, uh, Switch controller, and it moves the uh, sword. So I'm like fucking... Getting in there, dude. I'm moving around, dude. Yeah. I'm kicking some fucking ass. Little, little Wii classic Wii moves yeah, in there. Watch out, dude. Watch out, yeah. fucking <laughs> goblins and shit, dude. <laughs> Bobby, were you a Zelda person? You've made a lot of facial reactions, but you haven't said anything for a while. Locker room talk. Check it out wherever podcasts are sold.